If you had been wondering if you can recover from nerve pain, this video is for you. In this video, you will understand why you have nerve pain, the three degrees of nerve injury, and stay with me until the end for you to understand better your chances of recovery. Greetings again to everyone. This is again Doc Cherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. If you're new here in my channel, I would really like to personally welcome and encourage you to please click the subscribe and the bell button below so you will be updated with our weekly health videos that will surely benefit our beloved seniors, you and the people you love. Nerve pain can sometimes be difficult to treat because of its many underlying causes. This means that the symptoms that you are experiencing right now may be caused by other conditions. If you are wondering what causes your nerve pain, common reasons are the following. Compression. This happens when a nerve is impinged, such as the case of long-standing osteoarthritis of the spine. It may also be compressed with other soft tissue structures in your body such as a problematic intervertebral disc or in some but rare cases, it may be compressed with a growing tumor. Nerve pain can also happen because of other medical conditions, say for example, diabetes, chronic kidney disease, vitamin B12 deficiency, and problems with your thyroid gland. Or it can also happen because of trauma. Say, for example, you have broken a bone and a nerve has also been affected or a nerve has been cut. Nerve pain can also be a side effect of other cancer treatment, a side effect of chronic alcoholism. Nerve pain can also happen if you had gone through amputation or a surgical removal of a body part and nerve pain can be symptoms of different neurological conditions, say for example, stroke, multiple sclerosis, GBS, and spinal cord injury. Now, if you are not a medical professional, you would be probably confused of what a nerve really is and why do you always have different symptoms. There are days when you feel numbness, tingling sensation. There are days when you feel as if you are wearing gloves and stockings. Days when you feel sharp shooting type of pain and days when you feel hot and sometimes you feel cold. Symptoms of nerve pain may also vary depending on the location and the function of your nerve that is affected. Now, what are nerves and why does it give you so much discomfort? When you put your hand over a lighted candle, it is your nerves that allows you to feel sensation that something is hot. It is also your nerves that allows this information to go through your brain. The brain processes this information and commands you to withdraw your hand, and this command is received again by your nerves. It is also your nerves that allows you to move the muscles of your hand, allowing you to withdraw your hand from the lighted candle. This is the reason why when your nerves are affected, your ability to feel sensation is impaired and in severe cases, movement can also be affected. Now, with your concern about your recovery, I want you to understand that not all nerve injury are the same. And I would like to briefly walk you through the three levels of nerve injury for you to understand better what is really going on in your body and your chances of recovery. This is what your normal nerve looks like. This is the nucleus. This is the axon and this is where the information about the lighted candle passes through. This is the outer covering called the myelin sheet in which the purpose of this is for faster transmission of those information. Now, on the first degree of nerve injury, there is a specific part of your nerve that loses its myelin sheet. And usually, this is caused by compression. But... Once the compression is relieved, recovery is oftentimes complete. In the first degree of nerve injury, you will not see any changes with your muscle. What you will only experience is temporary sensory impairment. 
Recovery for those suffering with the first degree of nerve injury will last two days and may extend to 12 weeks or longer. With the second degree of nerve injury, you will experience sensory impairment. You will have nerve pain. At the same time, you may also experience difference in your muscle. You may notice that it has become smaller in size compared to as what it used to before. And you may notice involuntary twitching or involuntary muscle contraction. Recovery may be incomplete and surgery may or may not be needed. With the third degree of nerve injury, the nerve has been totally cut. This usually happens in gunshot wounds and stab wounds. And in this phase, recovery will not be possible without surgery. We have talked about blood tests in our previous video here with regards to nerve pain. But another test that can be used to really diagnose nerve pain, the extent of nerve injury, is what we call a EMG NCV. If you find this video helpful so far, I would really appreciate it if you can take only one second of your time to please click the like button below so that I will know that you are learning something from my videos. With your concern about nerve recovery, in majority of cases, nerves have a great ability to heal. Even if it would take months or years, recovery can still be possible. But in severe cases, the pain may lessen, but it may not completely go away. I would like to encourage you to try to understand the nature and the cause of your nerve pain, by which your doctor have probably discussed with you the status of your nerve. If the cause of the nerve pain is compression, then healing is likely to happen. Common conditions wherein a nerve is compressed would be that of carpal tunnel syndrome, sciatica, cervical radiculopathy, and even in cases of stenosis. But if the cause of your nerve injury is due to trauma, surgery may be needed and healing may take longer. If the cause of your nerve pain is because of conditions such as diabetes, controlling your blood sugar level and controlling that condition, depending on how severe it is, can really give a big impact on your nerve pain. If the cause of the nerve pain is due to vitamin deficiency, supplementation can really help you. If the cause of nerve pain is due to a side effect of cancer treatment, usually nerve pain may not totally subside but medications can be given so that the patient becomes more comfortable. If the damage on the nerve is severe and symptoms can be irreversible, B vitamins plus doing certain exercises can help you so that your condition will not become worse. Although nerve pain can become sometimes stubborn to treat, recovery is still possible. Besides using only one treatment approach, I would like to encourage you to try to observe what triggers your pain and try to avoid this. If you want to know about home exercise programs that you can do to help you with stenosis, sciatica, and cervical radiculopathy, I have a video. Please click on the description box below. It would definitely help you. I hope that this video is able to help you understand your chances of recovery better. Should you have any questions with this video, please comment down below because I would really get back on you. Please share this video to your friends and family members whom you think can benefit from this because now more than ever, health is indeed our wealth. Thank you very much for watching. This is again Dr. Sherry. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. God bless you. Thank you.